In this problem, we need to find what the ratio of the tidal force of the moon to the tidal force of the sun is. I'll start by drawing a diagram. This will be Earth. I'll call it E. And this will be the moon. I'll call this M. And this will be the sun over here. I'll call this S. Now, the tidal force is given as this. Delta F is equal to FA minus FB, where F is the force, and A is this point on the Earth here, and B is the point opposite of that. It tells us that the radius of the Earth is 6,371 kilometers. So this will be 6,371 kilometers. And so will that. Now these forces are gravitational forces. And if you remember, force is equal to G, the mass of a large planet. There'll be M, this will be the mass of the water, over the distance between them squared. Well, from the moon to the Earth, it'll be to the center of the Earth, is the value we're given. And this is 3.844 times 10 to the 5. I'll just call this dm. Because it goes to the center of the Earth, this distance for A will be the distance to the moon minus the radius of the Earth. And when it's force of B for the moon, it'll be the distance of the moon plus the radius of the Earth, which will give us the distance to point B. Now the sun will also have its own distance. It gives us this, and it's 1.49 times 10 to the 8. I'll just call this D sun. And the same property about accounting for the Earth's uh, radius applies. So I'll just start with my equation for the moon. So delta F of the moon is going to be equal to the force at point A from the moon is here. So this will be G times the mass of the moon times mass of the water over. And the distance of A will be the distance of the moon minus the radius of the Earth. So it'll be dm minus re. This will be squared. And this will be minus force of b, which will be g times the mass of the moon times the mass of the water over. This time it'll be the distance from the moon to the Earth plus the radius of the Earth. All right, now for the sun, it'll be delta F S. This will be equal to G. It'll be the mass of the sun times the mass of the water over. This time it'll be the distance of the sun minus the radius of the earth. This will be squared. And it'll be minus G mass of the sun times the mass of the water over the distance to the from the sun to the earth plus the radius of the Earth, and again, this will be squared. So we're ultimately looking for this ratio of the tidal force of the moon to the tidal force of the sun. I'll just call this L. And L will be equal to the tidal force of the moon, which is delta Fm, over the tidal force of the sun, which is delta Fs. I'll write that down here. It'll get pretty long and ugly. But L will be equal to, it'll be G, uh, mass of the moon times the mass of the water over distance from the moon to the earth minus the radius of the earth. This will be squared and minus gmm times m over dm plus the radius of the earth squared. And this will all be over the tidal force of the sun, which is gms times m over ds minus radius of the earth squared will be minus g mass of the sun times the mass of the water over ds plus re. This will be squared. And these g's will all cancel. And so will the mass of the water. Now I'm going to make myself some room and rewrite this. L will be equal to the mass of the moon. And it'll be times 1 over the distance from the moon to the earth minus the radius of the earth squared and it'll be minus one over 
dm plus re to be squared. This will all be over the mass of the sun times 1 over ds minus re. This will be squared and it'll be minus 1 over ds plus re. This will be squared. Now when we plug in numbers, I'm going to skip a few steps because it's a lot of uh, just plugging in numbers into the calculator. Um, so we'll get L is equal to 3.6913 times 10 to the negative 8. This will be times 4.49 times 10 to the negative 13 over 7.611 times 10 to the negative 21. And we'll get that L is equal to around 2.177. So it turns out that the tidal force of the moon is pretty close to the tidal force of the sun. So that's your final answer. Thank you for watching.